Okay, now for a review. We have a first term of 61. We are given a value of d. Notice the value d tells us that this is an arithmetic sequence. We're being asked to find the 43rd term and the sum of the first 102 terms. I'm going to begin with the formula a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 d in order to find a sub 43. The 43rd term is going to equal a1, which is 62, plus n is 43, so 43 minus 1 times d, which is 7. This becomes 62 plus 42 times 7. And that tells us that the 43rd term is equal to 356. And that is our first answer. Now we are being asked to find the sum of the first 100 second terms. Now, let's start off here. We need s sub n is equal to n over 2 times a1 plus a n. We have everything but the a sub n. We need to find the a sub 100 second term is the starting term 62 plus 102 minus 1. That would become 101 of the 7s. That would be 62 plus 707, which is 769 for the 100 second term. Now that we have that term found, we can finish things off using that formula up above. The sum of the first 100 second terms is n, 102 over 2, times first term, which is 62, plus the last term, or the 100 second term, which is 769. Let's move this up a little bit. This is going to then equal 51 times 831. Or if you've skipped over that, that line and gone straight to your calculator, you will find that this is 42,381 as the 100 sum of the first 102 terms. Here we are being asked to find the first four terms of this recursive sequence. You do know that the first term is 17, but we also need to be able to read this formula. I read this as the next term is twice the previous term plus 5. So my second term will be 2 times the 17 plus 5. That is 34 plus 5, which gives us 39. The third term will be 2 times that 39 as the previous term plus 5. That is 78 plus 5, which is 83. And the fourth term will be 2 times the previous term of 83 plus 1, sorry, plus 5. So we have 166 plus 5, which is 171. And there are our first four terms, 17, 39, 83, and 171.